on March 22, 2017, a man drove his car on the pedestrians on Westminster Bridge and attempted to enter the UK Parliament. He killed four passers-by and attempted to stab the police officer on duty at the Parliament gate. Immediately after the attack, World Media reported it a terror attack on London, similar in nature to 7-7 bombing and the attack in Paris. The suspect had beard and was identified as Muslim. We sent a wave of terror among the Muslims in the UK, who are already being thoroughly profiled and their places of worship under watch by the intelligence operators. The suspect was shortly announced as a UK national known as Khalid Masood, 52-year-old man. He was converted to Islam and his original name was Adrian Russell Ajao, born in Kent, UK. He had a criminal past, but his most recent conviction for possessing a knife was back in December 2003, and he had never been convicted of a terror offence. His name and appearance as being a Muslim made the event appear as a terror attack on London. While it was nothing more than a lone attack by a lunatic, fake statement by ISIS further fueled the fury against Muslims, making them feel apologetic for the act they had not committed. The Muslim Council of Britain swiftly condemned the attack, along with two leading London mosques. In just two days, a Muslim-led campaign, Muslims United for London, raised thousands of dollars for the victims. The campaign organizer Mudassar Ahmed wrote in The Independent that I am angry at the perpetrator. I am angry at myself for being so helpless. And I am angry that all my fellow Muslims can do is to condemn the attack only. Yet despite these public condemnations and efforts to raise funds to support the victims of terrorism, many Muslims in London have grown weary of constantly being like they need to apologize and denounce terrorism attack. It is now a growing sentiment among the Muslims in the UK that why should we keep apologizing? These people do not represent us. They do not represent Islam. Head of counter-terrorism at the Metropolitan Police, Mark Rowle, said, they think they know who he is and he was inspired by international and Islamist related terrorism but gave no further details to media. He said that Britain's Muslim communities will feel vulnerable at this time given the past actions of right-wing extremists. London Mayor Sadeh Khan said, My message to those that want to harm us and destroy our way of life is, you won't succeed, you won't divide us, we won't be cowed by terrorists. It is interesting to note that the British media have been extremely cautious of issuing flaring statements using Muslims or Islam as the main cause of this attack. Even parliamentarians and the notables in the UK remained extra vigilant while commenting on the attack. However, it was mainly taken as a terror attack by the media at large in the UK. But the US media instantly declared it an organized attack by Islamists. New York Times, while considering it an organized terror attack, said that the attackers in at least 10 strikes that came to fruition were in direct communication with Islamic State operatives. These cases are known as enabled plots. Washington Post, in an attempt to giving hype to the attack, warned the Muslim women of potential backlash in the workplace. It advised those Muslim women who keep their hair covered should keep their heads down today. Washington Post also highlighted that the attackers used to work in Saudi Arabia for some time and might have connections with ISIS. It also made headlines on fake ISIS claim that the attacker was a soldier of Islamic State. Fox News in a broadcast on March 24 said that London terrorist was an Islamic radical, but media are playing it down or hiding the information. German media like Deutsche Welle also criticized British authorities and media for downplaying Islamic radicalization despite being a serious threat to the UK's security. It said that terror attack in London by a single attacker was definitely not as well coordinated and deadly as the July 7, 2005 bombings that killed 52 people and injured over 700 in the British capital. But it stirred up the same sense of unease among British citizens as the 7-7 violence. 
Some UK politicians like Nigel Frage have blamed UK's multiculturalism policy for the Westminster's attack and claimed that the political support for multiculturalism has created a fifth column of terror supporters in the Western societies. He said in a tweet that if you open your doors to uncontrolled immigration from Middle Eastern countries, you are inviting in terrorism. On the other hand, proliferation of Islamophobia in India is also on the rise. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi appointed Yogi Adityanath, known as the hate-spewing Yogi, as Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, a home of 220 million people, with at least 20% Muslim population. Adityanath is a hardliner advocate of Hindutva, an ideology that advocates Hindu hegemony on India. He is a controversial and deeply divisive figure for his militant, misogynistic and anti-Muslim rhetoric. In 2015, he said that if he was given the chance, he would install idols of Hindu gods in every mosque. In an undated video uploaded in 2014, he said if Muslims take one Hindu girl, we will take 100 Muslims girl. If they kill one Hindu, we will kill 100 Muslims. His supporters have called for digging up Muslims women from their graves and insulting them. In his election campaign, Aditya Nath reportedly promised people a Muslim-free India. He also supported Donald Trump's ban on immigrants and asked for similar action in India. Aditya Nath is also a strong supporter for building a Hindu temple at the site of destroyed Babri Mosque in Ayodhya, Uttar Pradesh. Dear viewers, this is what India is all about. While at international front, it always claims to be a secular state. Muslims in India are suffering from deplorable state and Narendra Modi and Aditya not coming in power calls for attention of Muslims world to safeguard human rights for Muslims in India. By highlighting such statements and designs of its leaders at international forums.